Ooh, two-headed snake. But yeah, I kind of had an epiphany in the middle of there, like... This man I'd barely seen <sighs> on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me. But at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. Wow, he must have handled that. How did he do that? That's interesting. Okay. But yeah, I kind of had the epiphany, like, midway through the scene, like, when I saw the guy on TV, and then I had clicked with me, the cold, the weather decreasing, the word prophecy, and then the Mayan thing, it's got to be 2012. Like, this has to be related to the whole, like, the world's going to end in 2012 thing. I just, I didn't, I didn't make, I didn't pick up the connection until I started talking about the Mayans. Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a ah, okay. journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? Um... National Geographic. Uh, I'm freelance. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Uh, have we met somewhere before? My articles have been in all kinds of papers. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kuwaknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. Is he the snake? Are you serious? The two-headed snake? Oh, this is cool. If I knew any the good stuff about Mayan, uh, uh, what you call it, mythology, I might actually know what that word means. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kuwaknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Oh. What is could this other world? Could you explain this other world? Oh, the world beyond our own. The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. Oh, what, what exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. Yeah. I believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. What kind of powers did the oracles possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force, permitting the oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, sound so bad. how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. Oh, there's a picture over here, huh? We'll wander. Actually, let's, let's look at this. A two-headed serpent. The same shape that I carved on my forearms the night of the murder. Yeah, if you didn't pick that up already, Lucas makes it clear. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. <laughs> The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Oh, so what is the oracle The want? oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd, totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The oracle really? takes complete control of the executor, manipulating him from a distance. 
like a puppet. What happened about the to the executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? I'm a killer, yo. Wait a minute. Truth. Hell yeah, it's a great idea. Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder <laughs> that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before, three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? Huh? But, but that's completely impossible. Show him the forearms. Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Quagnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing the sacrifice. So, it is true. My God, the Codex was right. The Codex? Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here, and I'll tell you all about it. Awesome, we found an ally. So where are we going? I can't go past the guard, can I? Too late to back out now. Gotta go through. Where do I go? Door, the door, out here. I, I missed that, okay. There we go. I wasn't trying to, like, leave. I was just like, I thought that was where the professor went. Alright. Well, awesome! The plot is coming together now! Things are starting to happen. This is awesome. Although, he didn't mention anything in his thing about the executor having supernatural powers. Thank you for your help, professor. Get ready, what? Gray's trying to run us down. This is crazy. What's he doing? The guy having a seizure over there? Is he dead? Wow, nicely done. Oh, great. How many cars do I have to do this with? Oh, okay, you ready to tap. Pull yourself up! Up, Lucas! Great. Get ready! Wah! <laughs> Stop trying to hit me and hit me! This is great. Come on, Lucas, running a zigzag. Whoa, ho, 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 nicely done. That's pretty good, alright. Wow. Professor! Is that guy okay? The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. A prophet. The answer to all of life's questions. The Oracle kills to find the child. Oh, great. For a second there we had a chance and now he's all upset again. Whoa! Hey, I saw you. So he's, an, he's an ancient Mayan oracle who's still alive. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Unknown place? 104 degrees. Are we in ancient... Are we in South America? No, wait a minute. No, the mines were in Mexico. If I remember correctly. Yes, they were. They were on the... Uh, just off the peninsula there. Yeah, we're definitely in the tropical environment if it's 104 degrees. Who is this guy? Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? I'm a badass mother... Just saying. The Chroma. 
You have the Chroma. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Hey, screw you. The chroma. chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Of course it does. What about me? Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. The executor is always taken from the crowd. It's a great honor for you to be chosen to serve Kwetnitlan. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We really will now. see each other again. In the other world. Oh, screw that, man. I want to live. Oh, great. Is it going to say move? No, it says get ready. Alright. Is that a jaguar? That's pretty cool. Some kind of crazy jaguar. Run, Lucas! This is pretty intense. I'm not getting the opportunity to, like... Like, I'm about done, I feel like, with this recording session. I got other things I gotta do, but... The game just keeps going, man. The plot is picking up the pace. Quite quickly. Oh shit, did I miss that? No, I got it. I was fast enough. Nicely done. This is a fairly easy one after the last sequence we had. Or the one with the helicopters and the police, I mean? That was the hardest one. This one's fairly simple, just all three-piece sequences with two keys at the end. There we go. Where is he going? Like, I don't know what he, what he expects to do, even if, even if he gets away from this thing. I mean, what happens then? Oh boy. It's Agatha. Whoa! Agatha? But how... Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. Yeah, it's not just them either. Oh man. Intense! Things are getting crazy. Come on, give me a screen where I get to pick who I play as, because this is getting really intense. Oh man, another one? Unknown place. I'm wearing different clothes. Guys like momentum. I must like inform you, wake up. you Whoa. that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse? You showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not. But it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Kane and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the indigo child as we do. They must not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Cain is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. 
and soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. Hmm. It's an intense scene. So that must be the Orange Clan that the crazy, or rather not crazy, guy in the psychiatric ward told us, or told Carla about. So she's got one of the clues that Lucas needs. They've got to come back together eventually. 